How's it going? My name is Adrian Reddix, and today I want to talk to you about the process I use to build computers, what I go through and what the actual steps are. I'm not actually going to build a computer today. Maybe that'll be in another video, but today this is the initial process on how to plan that. So I'll be introducing you, or maybe you already know, two websites. Uh, the first one is going to be PC Part Picker and the second one is gonna be user benchmark. So when you're building a computer, the first thing, no matter what type of computer you wanna build, the first thing you have to consider is budget. Like, what's my budget? Do I have a $15,000 budget or do I have a, you know, $75 budget? You have to know how much money you have to spend before you can build a computer, which I'm pretty sure you know that already that's duh i mean you can't just go out and like hey i want this well it's 700 dollars. i only have two well it looks like you're not getting this first thing i do is come up with a price and then i go to pc part picker and the next thing i always consider is cpu is it going to be team red amd or is it going to be team blue intel in recent uh years especially last year and a half two years amd has been knocking it out the park with a lot of these builds um, there's a youtuber named low spec gamer and with a lot of these youtubers and a lot of builds they uh like to do this thing called bang for your buck which means that the parts you buy you want to have the most performance with the least cost as you possibly can right but what they don't consider is and he made a good point and it's a point I've been thinking about a whole lot myself, is that they don't consider people who don't either have the money to do this or the people who don't have the capability to do it. And what I mean capability is if you go, I'll link the video below, but if you go to different websites outside of the United States or North America, you'll find that um, a lot of times people can't get certain parts. And I think as a tech, technology community and being a tech enthusiast we have to really reevaluate what it means to be a tech enthusiast or a technologist or a techie um, much like the the f word foodies people who are interested in technology how can i put it they get lumped into a category where it seems like a lot of it is about consumerism and not about the actual love of technology it's like hey this newest latest thing come out i just want to buy it here take my money. It's not about doing anything useful. It's not about building projects to make your life or anybody else's life, life easy. It seems to me that, that we just have to reevaluate and be more inclusive as far as people who would love to get in technology but don't have the money. We have to just redefine what being a tech enthusiast is. It can't all just be about consumption. It can't all just be about us building this <laughs> we're gonna spend fifteen hundred dollars on a computer and, and if you can't spend that then you can't really be a tech enthusiast so with that in mind when i went to pc part picker let me get my notes i did a a bill that it's not a bang for your buck bill it's a bill that will run games now will you get 4k 200 frames per second no. Will it be rough? Maybe. It will be playable. You'll have to go in there and adjust some settings. It won't be as clear. But if you're in, into gaming, it'll be great. These three bills are all going to be gaming bills. If you were doing video editing, you would tweak these a little bit. Not much. But the first one I'm calling the very entry because this is the what you need to get into gaming. Here I have the AMD Athlon 3000G. Uh, it has an onboard graphics card and it's not going to be super high quality. If you don't have a lot of money and you want to get into gaming, this could be a great entry level CPU. And with all this stuff, it's just bare minimum on this build. The AS Rock motherboard, I mean, it's, it's not anything special. It's a motherboard that can run this processor. It's what it is. I think you need, to me, at least eight gigs of memory to do any sort of gaming. Anything less than that, it, you're really, you're really shooting yourself in the foot. The Western Digital Blue Caviar one terabyte hard drive. I, I mean, it's it's good. You're not gonna get the same speed as you do on an SSD or. Well, I just burped. 
excuse me, you will have a competent build. And the tower, this tower, I mean, you can find one cheaper. As long as it has two fans, you're good. We didn't put a cooler on this because the CPU comes with a cooler. I like to have enough power to run this. So we just got a basic EVGA power supply. I mean, it's nothing special. This build without the monitor, to me, if you can just find any monitor at a Goodwill or a thrift store or some type of surplus supply, get that. I mean, it's nothing, you don't need anything special because I mean, we, we just need to um, include everybody in this. And this build is gonna be $242.93. Now, when you see these prices, on PC part picker. What you have to realize is they usually, when you pick on a part, they go, they have maybe, I don't know, 10 to 20 different places that they have. And whoever has this in stock at the lowest price, they'll do that. So you'll have this price of $242.93 and it'll be three things for Amazon, two from B&H, one from Adorama, and another one from Newegg. And you could split all that up and it could be something advantageous to you or adding shipping and everything Thing onto it, it could be more expensive. When you see people use PC part picker, you have to be careful because that price is the aggregate of all the cheapest prices around the different PC part suppliers. So this is the proverbial bang for your buck. I call it the bang. This one we're gonna start off with a on the actual PC part picker. They don't have the AMD Ryzen 5 1600 AF processor that everybody is raving about for budget build. It doesn't have that, but if you see, I put it on um, Amazon and have the code up there, and that's what it is. It's not that, so this build is gonna be a little cheaper than the 166, so that's gonna be under $700 when we get there, but we're getting it. The motherboard is gonna be an Asus ROG Strix B450F gaming motherboard and then now when you see gaming when it comes to computer parts gaming is just another uh, sales term i mean it, it has really no meaning um it some people say it means pro and some people say it means uh, did i hit that sorry about that uh, some people say it means nothing to me it's just one of those sales terms it's it means hey i can put more money and sell it to you for more. I kept the same eight gigs of RAM on this build, but I upped the clock speed from the 2400 megahertz RAM in that device, in that build. And with this one, I upped up the megahertz to get a little faster speed out of it. Kept the same hard drive, but instead of not having a graphics card, I added the RX 580 eight gig from MSI and that's gonna give us a lot better performance. It's gonna allow us to go further into our frames per second. It's gonna clear up things a whole lot and that's gonna be good for us. The tower is just a Cooler Master uh, MB600L. I mean, it's a, it's a case, as long as you have three fans, I mean, uh, and they're quiet. Oh God, there's nothing worse than a, a computer that's just and you're hearing it and it's oh it's it's not good it's it's not good and to round it out with this bill i did a evga supernova gm 550 watt gold anyway it's a fully modular power supply i like the fully modular ones so i don't have cables going anywhere i don't have unnecessary cables just there and i can make it look neater really by me making it look neater i just kind of just hide the cables in the back panel nobody's gonna see it and honestly a lot of bills that people do i mean nobody sees these bills but you anyway so i mean you know I understand people say that cable management helps airflow, and I think in some regards that's true, but Linus Tech Tips has a video, and I'll link that below, about how, you know, maybe that's not the case. And also the monitor is gonna be the Acer SB220Q by 21.5 inch monitor. It's a great gaming monitor. It has a 75 Hertz refresh rate, so you're getting a little better than 60. To me, as far as low budget or lower, cost monitors this is one of the best out there and the final build the final build is something you would use if you just wanted to flex on people if you just wanted to have like hey i got the money i'm just gonna do it it's an intel build and i'm calling it the inordinate the inordinate is stuff that you don't 
need you don't need any of this stuff at all it's it's just if you got it flaunt it it's what this is so i started off with the intel i9 9900k uh it's a great processor it's not as good as um a thread ripper but you know we're, we're we're not worried about that now. I put a air cooler on there. To me, I like air coolers better than liquid cool. To me, if you're not doing some serious overclocking or something that's CPU intensive, to me, it's just not worth the extra expense other than if you wanted to make it look cool and you could upgrade this to water cool to make it look aesthetically pleased to you. To me, it doesn't matter. The CPU cooler, I have the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4. It is massive it is a huge huge cooler but the performance is fantastic but this is one of those coolers that if you don't put it on before you put it in the pc and if you did like i did and didn't do it it's a beast to try to put on inside the case no matter if you have a full atx case or not it is put everything on before you even put it on there for the motherboards, the Asus, ROG Strix, Z3. I know I'm getting a little technical here. You know, all these, um, <clears throat> all these different names and models. I'm just trying to give you a breakdown of what you can do with PC Part Pick. But it's the Asus, ROG Strix, Z39E Gaming, Gaming, ATX motherboard. It's fantastic. It's fully featured. You know, it has M.2 slots all over it. it. It's really good. I like it. And for the RAM, we did, <clears throat> excuse me. Cool. And for the RAM, we have the G Skill Trident Z 64 gigabyte, 3000 megahertz package. It's way more than you would ever need for any game you wanted to play, uh, any game that's running today. You don't need any of this. It's, uh, it's overkill. And instead of one M.2 drive, I have two. M.2 drives. <clears throat> my voice, I don't know what's happening. Every time I get in front of this camera, uh, my voice starts cracking. I don't know what it is. Maybe I need more water. Maybe I'm talking and my voice gets dry. I don't know. So the next thing is gonna be this Western Digital internal hard drive, the black. And it's just for storage for all your Steam games. The video card, I'm using the MSI RTX 2080 Ti Overkill. I know it's not the Titan, but it's more than what you would ever need. And then the case is gonna be the Be Quiet Dark Base Pro 900 Revision 2. It, it's cool, it's a modular case. And on the top of it, it has a uh, wireless charger. I don't know if that's a selling point, but I like it. For the power supplies, the EVGA Supernova G3, I like it, 750 watts. It's more than enough to power this machine. I put a DVD drive on it, cause why not? It's the inordinate, you know, who uses CDs? Nobody, but if, you, if you're gonna do it and you got the money, throw it up there. For the monitors, I'm using the LG 27GL 850s, 27 inch dual monitors because why not and that brings us to 42.9857 does anybody need this build no not at all and so for the second website we're building gaming rigs that's what we came to the conclusion we're building gaming rigs but you don't know what is better as far as cpu and you, you have something in mind but you don't know how to compare them well userbenchmark.com does that you can take uh let's say a uh, rx 580 and a 2080 ti and put them side by side and see what's what or different cpus and you can see how they stack up against each other and all this is a lot of user submitted data if you see i ran a benchmark on a build that's similar to the inordinate and you see on the results i didn't score so high but what you have to know that there's a lot of other different things that were going on in this computer as far as different production things and things like that it was a lot of tabs open so performance was uh held back a lot but guys i think that's it if you like this video please hit like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your favorite build, what your favorite components to put in a build. Or if you have any questions about actually building a PC, just ask the questions and I'll do my best to answer them. And I'll see you guys in the next one and have a good one. Peace or bye or um, I don't know what my greeting is gonna be. I'm gonna come up with one, watch. <laughs>